I want to start this video by saying I'm not a doctor. This is just a video based off facts of what happened or what I've experienced in my life. So with that being said, first off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is with comforts and guides us, especially during these times to come. And through the Spirit, I came up with this lesson because this guy that I was talking to on the plantation, he was saying that his son had the pink eye. And I'm a type of person, I like to learn things, so I was asking him, how do you get the pink eye? Even though I most likely would search it up on my own, but at the time I wasn't able to. And that's like most of it is, and it's true. Like our teachers say, um, for the people that's, you know, before they come in the truth, usually you you, you tell, them, tell them what it's about and they go home, you know, do they research, see how they feel. And if the Lord put the spirit on them, then they'll come in. And that's what the Lord did to me. And like I said, based on my experiences in life and the prophecies coming to pass, it boosts my faith in the truth and my belief in the truth. And I decided, and I ended up coming in the truth. But like I said, he was telling about his son had the pink eye and he was like, he had caught the, him himself, himself had caught the chicken, had the chicken pox before at a young age. I was like, yeah, I've had the chicken pox before, but I never had the flu. So I asked him, did he, did he get the flu shot? And he was like, yeah, all, basically every time he caught it, got the flu shot, he um caught the flu. And I said, that's the same thing that my cousin said. One of my cousins said that the days, the times they didn't get the flu shot, they didn't get the flu. But the times that they did get the flu shot, they did get the flu. The flu. So that's ultimately telling you, as the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. And as we know, our enemies are written in Psalms 83. Basically, the other, the other nations outside of the nation of Israel are our enemies. The Lord created 18 nations. He chose Israel from the southern sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which Israel got it, Jacob got his name changed to Israel. Today, they consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like the heathen, but are not the heathen, the other um, 17 nations, but are Israel because their father's sea line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. The heavenly father, Yahweh, chose the Israelites to be his inheritance. And that's what salvation is ultimately for, the elect of the nation of Israel. But like, like I said, the scriptures say, never trust thine enemies. Because we know that these devils, because as the scriptures say, our biggest enemy, Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked that the Bible speaks of is the so-called white man who forefathers Esau eat him. This is his kingdom. The heavenly father gave it into his hands to punish his people because of our disobedience. But let me get back to the point. Like I said, the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. I'm going to go from there to Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. It reads, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is so is his wickedness. Because like I said, these devils create all these so-called, you know, jabs and stuff that's supposed to help you, but ultimately it's for your destruction. They already try to, you know, get do away with the Lord's people by, you know, putting weapons in our neighborhoods, um, the food. But as we know, as it's written in Revelation 12 and 12, these devils know they have a short time, so they're gonna come down with great wrath. So the food is not moving fast enough, so they're trying to they're gonna try to push things to move even faster. Like I said, by pushing out these jabs. As you can see, what's going on with um, Jamie Foxx trusting in the enemy? He didn't got that jab, and now he's basically I what they, what they say he's going blind and um, paralyzed. So ultimately, him playing the role as Ray Charles, he's ultimately becoming Ray Charles for real. Sad to say. I'm going to go from there to Psalms, chapter 58, because like I said, the, the, so, the, the wicked is the so-called white man. Psalms 58, it reads, 
and I'm going to start at three. It reads, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. And that's what a lot of these people took. The serpent juice to so-called keep their job. The the the, the so-called function in society. When we know that everything is of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Charming never so wisely. Like I said, that's why the, 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 the scriptures say in Isaiah 33 and 6, this wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. I'm going to go from there to um, Psalms 103. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It reads, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you can't call on any name. Not Jesus Christ, not Allah, Buddha, etc. None of them false names. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, the only one that can forgive you of your iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. So the Lord is the one that heal thy diseases. And as he say, as it says in the scriptures, that the Lord made medicines from the earth. These devils try to use the medicines from the earth and put their little spin on it which ultimately doesn't help you get healed but ultimately we we must pray to Yahweh Shai first and foremost and use the herbs because we're from the ground who redeem who redeemeth thy life from destruction who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy mercies and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that one right there but I'm gonna go from there since I since I basically um said it. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 38 and verse 4. It reads, The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So yeah, the Lord created medicines from the earth. And ultimately, that's why it's best if you can to try to use the herbs to heal your sicknesses. And don't trust thine enemies. Because like us that trusted in the Lord, that didn't take that, you know, that jab, we're doing fine. Some of us may have lost jobs, etc. But the Lord is still going to protect his people. Some of us may have caught it. But as you can see what's going on, a lot of people like they're stating that you better off fighting it off with your own immune system. I seen an um, article, I think, recently. It was saying 600,000 people a year is dying from getting that jab because they trusted in the enemy, which, I mean, ultimately, that's only the Israelite enemy, but these devils don't even care about their own people. They destroy their own people just to be on top. That's how wicked they are. But the hope for the elect, we pray that the Lord stays on our side to keep the spirit on us just like the ones of us that didn't take that, juice, that jab. He keep the spirit on us not to take that MOTB written in Revelation 13 and 16. The M, the, the, the Karagma, that RFID CHIP that these devils are going to try to make mandatory saying that you can't buy or sell. And ultimately, like the scriptures say, strive for the truth unto death. We pray that the Lord keep the spirit on us to, if we have to, you know, be put under the guillotines or anything of that nature, whatever these devils have to come with, or going to come with that the Lord allows them to come with, we pray that the Lord keep the spirit on us to endure it to the end until we receive the kingdom. And as we can tell, like I said, based on prophecies and signs, no one knows the day or time but the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But as he say, as the scriptures say, go off the signs. We can see that based on prophecies, it's getting near. And for the people that don't understand, like the scriptures say in 2 Peter 3 and verse 8, one day to the heavenly father is to us a thousand years so just because you think that time is moving slow that doesn't that that's not the same for your house shine ultimately as you can see the time is speeding up because like the lord said if he don't shorten the days there will no flesh be saved if these devils continue to run this world they eventually destroy everyone including their damn self but like i said the whole point of this lesson is 
more proof, as you can see, based on Jamie Foxx's situation and based on, like I said, my coworker and my cousin's situation as like he stated, like they stated that when they didn't get that flu um thing, they didn't they didn't catch it. But when they did, they caught it. But like I said, this is based off facts of what happened through my experiences in life and what I've heard. It ain't I'm not stating that I'm a doctor or stating what you should do, but I know according to scriptures, the scriptures say never trust thine enemy. And the prophets man the, the true prophets has been speaking the words that the Lord has given because the Lord speaks through his men. And if you're not going to hearken or if you don't know, don't can't tell, discern who's true and who's who's faithful and true and who's not, then you must pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh that they may open your ears and your, and your eyes to see and believe on the truth and guide you on the right path. Because if not, it's ultimately going to lead to your destruction. But like I said, that's all I got. Call Haloim La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honest to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity, who I learn from daily, Lord willing, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.